Away from that, the Action Aid has called on federal lawmakers to prescribe the debt penalty for corrupt persons instead of its proposed clause recommending same in the controversial hate speech bill. The country direction, director of the Action Aid, NLB, made this call in Abuja as a civil society organization joined other stakeholders on a walk against corruption, saying corruption has deprived many Nigerians of the basic needs of life. The over two kilometer walk commenced from the Barcelona Hotel in Abuja and ended at the Federal Secretariat complex. As Nigerians, we are tired of living without hospitals. As Nigerians, we are tired of living without good roads. As Nigerians, we are tired of living without transparent governments. Today, we are here to join our voices to other members in the world who are sensitive to the issue of corruption. That corruption must not exist in our family. Corruption must not exist in our nation. Corruption must not exist in our churches. Corruption must not exist in our schools. Corruption must not exist in our parliament. And corruption must not exist in our executive. We are standing here today because many women are dying in our hospitals. They are dying in our homes because of the poor health care. We are standing here because so many young Nigerians are in the universities without allowances. We are standing here today because somebody is standing on the scholarships. We are standing here today because many years ago, even the colonial masters gave scholarships to build the human capital of Nigeria. Many Nigerians were given scholarship to go and study abroad so that we can better our economy. What is happening today? What is happening to our education? Our public schools have been rendered almost powerless. Many Nigerians, when some of us were in school, many Nigerians went to school with foreigners. Foreigners were coming to Nigeria to go to school. Today, the Nigerian economy is holding many countries of the world. We don't need their education because we have taken all our children outside to pay their fees. Those who went to school without shoes, today they are living in mansions. It means something is wrong with our economy. And so we stand here today, today to say that all those who are found guilty, those who are charged of corruption, they should bring justice quickly. And I want to advocate that those who are looting the economy, when found guilty, they should pass death sentence. Why are you calling for death sentence for hate speech when you cannot call for death sentence for those who have looted the economy? We stand together against corruption. And that stance starts with you, myself, and with everybody else. Whatever you don't want will not happen. It is what you tolerate that then afflicts you. So we call on everybody to stand with us, to work with us, to take a position against corruption.